the only thing I've ever seen about it is Eric Dubay's video uh, of the new, I think it's the moon over the flat earth, I think it's what it's called, um, and he shows an image of what's supposed to be Venus shining through the unlit portion of the moon, um, and with mine and with Cass Kring's and my research, we found that that was not possible. Uh, and then he showed an, a video of um, of a man pointing out what he believes are stars shining through the through the lit and unlit portion of the moon. Uh, and I I personally believe that th that is an over contrasted photograph, and he's looking at dead pixels. certain phases of the moon, the rest of the moon and the shadow is visible, whereas in the other phase of the moon, the shadow is not visible. There's nothing there. You see, you, you understand what I'm saying, Santos? Yeah, you're saying that when the moon is waxing, you can see through the, um, the dark portion of it, but when it's waning, you cannot. It's opaque. Yeah, I remember which, which one is which. I, I, <clears throat> I always confuse waxing and waning, but when the when the light is on one side of the moon and you take a camera and look at it and take it out of focus you can see the rest of the disk of the moon but then in the other phase whether it's night or day with blue sky or black night behind it when that shadow is there that's when you can see the stars through it that's when jupiter has been seen through it where we get the islamic symbolism of the crescent and the star right yep yeah, um, waxing moon. Waxing moon is transparent. That uh, portion okay. is transparent. That's why she's more glorious. She's Isis. When she's waning, she's uh, Nephthys, her evil twin sister, and that portion becomes opaque, and you won't be able to see through it. So she is an actual. That leads credit to the idea that the moon is a projection of that energy. Correct. That it is only partially there during those waxing times. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, I would have to, I would have to actually just disagree with you guys about that. I, um, I, I took on that challenge to, to see if, if any, uh, any luminaries could sh or stars could shine through the unlit portion of the moon, uh, and in about three different observations that I made, uh, one with the star called Theta Theta Ver, uh, another with the uh, the Regal star, and and another with. Um, the uh, Venus itself uh, during the day, and I, I believe Cass Kring was the one who actually caught the Venus, but each time the stars were occulted by the unlit portion of the moon, uh, and we weren't able to we weren't able to see them shining through the through the unlit portion of the moon. Uh, just two days ago, Jupiter was occulted by the moon. Um, so and the moon was the moon is in its uh, I believe it's in its waning period. No, it's in its waxing period right now. It's filling with, waxing means it's filling with light. Waning means it's losing light uh, from 
due to lunar parallax, um, I had posted a video of Jupiter just above the moon from where I'm at in Texas. Um, and but if you were in Africa, you would have seen the uh, you would have seen the moon become or Jupiter become occulted by the moon, which means Jupiter went behind the moon. Uh, while the moon was in a, a, it's still a crescent phase, getting close to quarter. Uh, so there, there was an unlit portion of it. About half of it was unlit. Uh, and so I don't know. Maybe someone might have. But it, just the other day, Jupiter, you know, went behind the moon. Uh, if you were in the right location due to lunar parallax, you could see it. Uh, so that'd be very interesting if someone uh, were to produce a, an image of Jupiter shining through the unlit portion of the moon. Because the only thing I've ever seen about it is Eric Dubay's video uh, of the new, I think it's the moon over the flat earth, I think it's what it's called, um, and he shows an image of what's supposed to be Venus shining through the unlit portion of the moon, um, and with mine and with Cass Kring's and my research, we found that that was not possible, uh, and then he showed an, a video of, um, of a man pointing out what he believes are stars shining through the through the lit and unlit portion of the moon, uh, and I I personally believe that th that is an over contrasted photograph, and he's looking at dead pixels and confusing them for what he believes are stars to be shining through the unlit portion of the moon. Uh, I I personally believe the moon is spherical in shape or at least half a sphere due to the the uh, the craters that that are visible on, along the edges of the moon. But I don't, I don't think that has any effect on the fact that the Earth is flat. I think there are a lot of fal a lot of flat Earth fallacies about the Moon um, and about a, pretty much about a lot of things, and a lot a lot of them are good, um, you know. And we we can't really say one way or another. But some of them are just flat out wrong, like trying to, like if you take like this telescope right here behind me, that camera right there, and look at the Moon. Uh, whenever a star is about to go behind the moon, depending on your location, some, the moon is the, the moon. There will be a parallax. Like this guy will see the moon occult the star, but this guy won't. The moon, the star will be next to the moon, to so lunar parallax. That's also how they how they determine the distance to the moon by using lunar parallax by using the radius of a spherical Earth uh, and determining it was a quarter million miles away. But if you change that radius. Then you change the the numbers. You, you change the first fundamental numbers, and it can branch out to globe Earth heliocentric. Everything we've been indoctrinated with as child as children uh, change those fundamental numbers, and you go you flat Earth um, the three thousand miles away, uh, thirty miles across. Uh, so, but yeah, as far as um, anything shining through the moon. Uh, I, I don't believe anything can shine through the moon, just from my observations, but the, I've only made a few observations in that regard. Uh, if anyone could produce any kind of, uh, any kind of imagery of, of lights shining through the lit or unlit portion of the moon, I, I'd love to see that, because the, the Eric Dubay video of... Uh, Look on... Moon open up.
There it goes. Just went. Just before 14. Very cool. That is another successful uh, lunar occultation right there.